You know, what is luxury? People, luxury brands, luxury this, luxury that. I had the blessing of meeting a guy named Harry Norman, Atlanta, Georgia, had one of the more powerful high-end firms. And at a meeting of his senior team one time, everybody was arguing about, well, should we go to that new market or this new market? Is that really a high-end market or a luxury market? Harry said this about that particular topic. He said, you know what? It's not the average price of the homes that determines whether it's luxury. It is the people's perception of what it means to them. Because he said, whether you're going to West Marietta, north of Atlanta, or somewhere else, if the average home price is 200,000 instead of a million dollars in downtown Atlanta, still the man and a family or a woman who sees that as a high-end home in that market, well, they see that as luxury to them. And that's a critical component of our industry is understanding what are people looking to do that makes them feel like they're achieving or they're succeeding in the home they're buying. Because isn't home ownership most people's dream? And don't people tend to want to have, as they earn more and succeed more in their careers, want to have a nicer home in a nicer neighborhood or a better neighborhood? Harry's lesson from 30 years ago was, it is what is in the mind and the heart of the consumer that determines what's luxury and what's high end. This has been Steve Murray for Real Trends.